In this second video what we're going to do is going to introduce some of the smaller plastic bearings and pop rivets. First of all what we need to do is make sure that this entire chassis frame is centered at some points because later on what we're going to do is whatever we model on the right hand side we're going to use a mirror tool to flip over to the left hand side. On the left hand side of the model tree right click on the, the base part and choose to unground that part. It should now move around freely. If we then expand the origin folder just on the left hand side, what we should see is three datum planes. And it is the, the YZ plane here in this instance that I want to center this bar onto. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a constraint. I'm going to click on the constraint button. I'm going to line up this datum plane to this center line here. It should now click into place and select OK. I can now right click and then ground this part again. Well, what I've done is I've actually managed to position it on a, a central datum plane, which is this one here, so that whatever I model here I can now mirror onto the other side using that as a datum plane. Okay, so select place from the ribbon, and under the motion tab, we're going to locate the flat bearings and open. Now we're going to use quite a lot of these, so first of all we're going to click 1, 2 and 3 for this outside bar, and then 4, 5 and 6 for this inside bar and of course we're going to mirror these onto the other side. If you click and hold control and click all three you can free rotate these all at the same time and what we're going to do is just going to rotate them around so that they actually look like they're facing uh, away from us like so and select OK and what we can also do is kind of start to move these roughly into place. Now it's really important here that we navigate our assembly over upside down and we're going to zoom in just so we can start to see where these bearings are going to be located. Now currently the bearings are facing the right direction but we need to assemble them onto this metal here. We're going to again use the eye mates because we can see there's eye mates available here. So if we just move these roughly into the right position, they're orientated around the right way. And what we're going to do is going to leave one square in the middle here and start here. So these three holes will be covered by the bearing. So what we're going to do is to hold down Alt, match it up to the bearing, and then allow that to click into place. If you just rotate that bearing out of the way, again select Alt, choose the appropriate bearing, and then snap that into place. Let's repeat this now, but this time we're going to leave two holes between the bearing. So again, select, lock into place, again repeat this process, and lock that into place. Last one. Then just twist that slightly out of position, hold down Alt, select the last I mate, and then lock that into place like so. With the first three bearings placed in correctly, what we now need to do is just rotate our metal frame around. So just navigate around. I'm going to move these bearings around like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to fit these lying opposite these three bearings. So again, hold down control, choose free rotate, and again what we're going to do is we're going to rotate these rounds roughly in the right orientation. And what we're going to do is actually going to rotate them around so they're facing inwards like so. Right click and select OK. What we're going to do now is we're going to repeat this process so that they effectively mirror the bearings on the opposite side. So let's do that now. OK, and as you scroll out, you'll see that now we have all six bearings in the correct place. We're all mated um, using the insert option onto the metal. What we're going to do now is we're going to choose to uh, mirror these six features over to the other side. So what we're going to do is select the mirror option from the ribbon. Select with control held down all six parts and then the mirror plane, if we just expand the origin, we're going to select that top plane and select next, select OK and as you can see the preview's there and that will create the six bearings on the other side. What we're now going to do is add in the pop rivets, this is also just as easy and then we'll use the mirror option again. So choose place, this time move through to the structure folder, locate uh, a part called a bearing pop rivet. Open that up. And what we need to do is we need to create two per bearing on the outside, two for this bearing 
two for this bearing and just one for this bearing here because this is where we're going to attach the motor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. And select OK. Now what we're going to do is just rotate the view around. And what we need to do is assemble these pop rivets into these holes. So again, we're going to choose uh, this time a constrain relationship from the ribbon. We're going to select insert. What we're going to do is select the center line and the underside edge of this rivet and match that to the center line and the underlying edge here. I'm going to flip those over. Now this is ever so slightly too close. I'm just going to offset this 0.5 millimeters. So type in minus 0.5. Select OK. Now what this will do, this will insert this rivet into the bearing and if you include a minus 0.5 millimeter offset it will set it then onto the thickness of the metal. So let's just repeat that again. Constrain, choose insert and then select the underlying edge and the center line of the rivet. Match it to the bearing, center line and the edge. Make sure we choose a, uh, an aligned option and then type in minus 0.5 click OK and that will then set that rivet in place. We're now just going to repeat this for the three outside bearings. Once you've assembled all six outside rivets, the next stage is to rotate your model round and to fit two rivets matching to the opposing, the opposing bearing here and here. And on the middle bearing, fit one rivet towards the back end to the last hole. Again using the same process. With the final five rivets in place, what we're going to now do, we're going to use the mirror function again. So select mirror from the ribbon. This time select all the rivets by clicking them one at a time. And then again select the mirror plane as the, the YZ plane and go next. Select OK. And what we should now see if we just return back to our uh, base view is that the six bearings on both sides are in place and all the ribs are holding those in place.